So what you will just do is to charge the charge the increment on on the variable cost. Let me see what's the variable cost amount. I think we've already done the calculation for variable cost. Can you hear me? Yes. We've done the variable cost calculation already. If you check the 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 material, I think they've already done the calculation, okay. taking into consideration okay. the new the inflation rate and all. So look okay. at the variable cost there. Variable cost has been calculated: twelve thousand for year one, thirty-six thousand for thirty thirty-three thousand six hundred. Have you seen it? Yes, yes, yes. So they've done that already. So what you just do is just to look for the one twenty percent. What's the one twenty percent of it? Look for one twenty percent of year one. That will give us how much? Fourteen thousand four hundred. Fifteen thousand four hundred. So that's what they have. Fourteen thousand four hundred. That's what they. That's what they have in that question there. Yes. How the the this thing was calculated. Yes. So once you do that, you just do the same thing, and then you put your training and development. You put it under where you are well, after immediately after working capital. You put in your trainings and development. So once you do that, you are good. You calculate your MPV. That's just all. Yes. Thanks. It's clear. Mm -hmm. So. So that's that about that. So the next thing, okay, so that's all. So let's quickly look at, please, I hope everyone can hear me. Let's quickly maximize this time before. So let's quickly look at this other question quickly. Can somebody read that question for us, illustration? Illustration 10, Telemundo PLC. Can somebody read that statement? Is there anybody reading it? Okay, let me share my screen. Okay. I, I wanted us, I want somebody to read it so that we can flow with the question. Because okay. one thing about this kind of question is you need to understand. I don't want to read it myself. I want somebody to be reading it because you are reading, you understand. Okay. So it's not that I just want I just wanted somebody to do it. I know why I said somebody should read it. Okay, but let right. me read it. Yeah. Okay, you can read it. Talimundo PLC is a company listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. It is involved in property development and sales. The company currently imports more than 60% of its cement requirements. At a recent meeting of the board of directors, the decision was taken to establish a, a division for the production of cement in Ore, on those state. If the division is set up and the cement production goes ahead, output from the division will be sold to Telemundo PLC and external customers at market price. For planning purposes, it has been decided that the financial viability of the project over the next five years should be determined. The sum of two billion naira will be required. The sum of 500 million naira will be spent to acquire an existing factory considered suitable for the project. The balance of 1.5 billion naira will be applied for the procurement and installation of essential plants and equipments. Tax allowance can be claimed on plants and equipment at a uniform amount over five years with nil scrap value. The total of 20 million naira has been spent on various surveys, markets, technical, financial, etc. to date, out of which 10 million naira has been paid. The balance of 10 million naira 
is due for payments at the end of year one. Production of cement for the next five years is projected as follows. Year, year one, 500,000. Year two, 600,000. Year three, 650,000. Year four, 800,000. Year five, 700,000. A bag of cement sells a, a bag of cement sells currently for two thousand era in the open market. The price is expected to increase at the rate of five percent per annum. Variable cost is now eight hundred naira per bag. This will increase at four percent per annum. Fixed overhead costs will be fifty million naira at current price, but will rise by eight percent per annum. A portion. Eight charges of 25 million era at current prices will rise by 10 percent per annum. 50 percent of the total initial outlay of 2 billion era is to be funded with a loan from a government gov, from a with a loan from a federal government development bank at a conventional fixed interest rate of 8 percent payable at the end of year five. The project will require a working capital of 10% of annual revenue, and this should be available at the beginning of year at the beginning of each year. The company uses a current weighted average cost of capital of 11% to appraise all capital projects. The asset beta of the company is 1.2, equity beta is 1.6, risk-free rate is 5% why the market risk premium is 7%. The finance director is of the, is of the view that it is not appropriate to use the existing work to appraise the new projects. Identify a listed company which currently produces cement and packaged fruit, fruit drinks. The company has the following financial statistics, which is better 1.8, depth better 0.4, Debt equity ratio 40 percent. 60 percent of the market value of the company is attributed is attributed to cement production, while 40 percent of the value is attributed to the fruit drink fruit drinks division. The fruit drinks division has equity better of 0.8. The new project is expected to move Telemundo PLC to the target debt equity ratio of 30 percent. Tax rate is 25% for the two companies and is paid in the year profit is made. You are required to compute the appropriate cost of capital that Telemundo PLC should use to appraise the cement projects and state why you consider this rate more appropriate than the existing work of 11%. Note, your final cost of capital should be rounded up to the nearest O number. State any assumptions made. Then B, compute the net, the, the NPV and the modified internal rate of return of the project, assuming a cost of capital of 13%, work to the nearest million. Then C, recommend whether the project should be accepted or not using both NPV and MIRR methods. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. So, now, one thing we should take note of in this question is I hope we still remember the steps on how to calculate project-specific cost of capital, right? What's the first step? What's step one? Identify the proxy, the proxy company. Thank you very much. Step two, identify what? What do you say? The proxy company. Identify the better better of the proxy company. Yes, the better of the proxy company. Good. Step two. What do you say? On the other project continue with his shared. Thank you very much. Step three. Reject re re the better re factor. Re to incorporate financial risk. Thank you very much. Step four. Calculate scalpin. Thank you very much. Step five. The calculates work. Works. Thank you very much. Now, 
Let's look at this company. Who is the main company in this question? I want us to dissect it one by one. Who is the main company in this question? Who is the proxy company? Elimundo is the main company. Okay, who is the proxy company? You notice that the, you are not giving any proxy company, Abby? <laughs> yes. Are you guys following me? Please just follow me. Just follow me. Follow me, please. Everybody, can you all hear me? And you can listen to me. Yes. Proxy company now is the issue, right? We cannot identify proxy company in this question. Is that not so? Yes. Okay, that's one. Number two, what was Telemundo into before? What were they doing Pro before? Huh? Property development and sales. Pro property development and sales. That is, the company currently imports more than 60% of its cement. So part of what they do in their property development is cement production. Is that not so? Yes. Thank you very much. Now, you are not giving proxy company, but you are giving a similar product. Now, I told you that the time you are going to use project-specific cost of capital, you use it when? You use project specific cost of capital when? When you are diversifying. diversifying. When you are diversifying. diversifying. Yes. Thank you very much. And diversification could mean anything, like I explained to you. I told you that diversification could mean that you are producing a particular product. You now want to produce another kind of product. That, that, that's diversification. Diversification could also mean you are moving from the financial sector. You want to move into real estate. That's diversification. Diversification could mean that you were a public listed, you were a private company before. You now want to move into public listed companies so that you can be selling your shares to the public and all of that. That is diversification. Do you understand? So diversification could come in any form. It's not necessarily you are looking for a similar company. So the, 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 like the initial question we did, the type of diversification that you were given was that you have a similar company. You were given a diversification of a similar company. But in this case, we are not given a diversification of a similar company, but rather we are given a diversification of a product. So uh, that particular product that the company wants to now produce that they were not producing before. It's our proxy company that we are looking for that we cannot find. So where we are making the mistake was that we are looking for a similar company. We are looking for a name of a company so that we can use it to identify our, our proxy. No, our proxy could also be when you are what? Producing something you were not doing before. So in this question now, what is the company not doing before that they gave us an information relating to that? If you check this question, they gave you something that the company was not doing before. What is that thing? Hello. Cement. What's that thing? Production of cement. No, now the company was known for production of cement before originally. That's why I asked you that. But there is another information that is here that the company was not doing before that they gave us the information. What's that? Fruit, fruit drink. Fruit, thank you very much. Fruit. Fruit drink is the proxy here now that the company wants to diversify into. Are you, am I communicating, please? Yes. So that fruit is what we are going to use to determine whatever we want to determine. Now, we have identified that fruit is the next thing. Now let's now go, let me go to this place. All of this information are, are information we need. Now, look at this now. The director of 
the director is of the view that it is not appropriate to use the existing work to appraise the new project. The director is of the view that it is not appropriate to use the existing work to appraise the new project. He has identified, look at this, look at this. He has identified a listed company, but they didn't give us the name of that listed company. But we shall know that he has identified another company which produces what? Cement and packaged fruit. So that fruit is where our major focus is. Together with that cement that that other, that other company is producing, we are the, the Telemundo is producing a cement, but this listed company now is producing what cement and packaged fruit. Let's move ahead. The company has the following financial data. This is relating to the company. So they now said 50% of its market value is attributed to cement production. That is the listed company. Why 40% is attributed to fruits? The fruit drink division has equity better. The new project is expected to move Telemundo blah, 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 and all of that. Now you are now required. The, now, the first thing is what? Identify the better factor of the word proxy company. Now, go and check this question. Were you given the better factor of the listed company that is producing fruit? Were you given the better factor? Let's check it very well. Are you giving the better factor? To me, I don't think so. Are you giving? Quickly, 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 please. Are you giving? No, you are not giving the better factor. So what you are going to do in this case is that you will use the combination of that fruit and drink. I mean, cement and fruit, you will use it to find the better factor. How do you find the better factor? There is a formula for that. But before we proceed, let's look at these notes, which I have actually explained before. I told you that project-specific cost of capital should be used when a company is diversifying. So meaning that the current cost of capital cannot be used to appraise the project when the company is diversifying. So what that means is that cost of capital must be what consistent with the risk that the business wants to undertake. So those are the points that is listed here. Those are the points that is listed here. Now, step one, identify the prosy better in the cement company or the listed company. So now what we are going to do is that there is a formula to use to calculate the better factor if you are not giving. Please pay attention here. Oh. Pay attention here. This is where the this is where the um, the major this thing is. Once we can get past through this place, we are good to go. You just follow the same process. Now you will now bring out the information that you were given. You will bring out the combined information that you were given. You know you were given combined information of the proxy beta of both the fruit and drink to be one. 0.82. Look at this, 1.82. Where is that place? Look at it. Equity beta. Equity beta is the what the, the combined information of both the company, oh, both the cement and the fruit division. And they have what 1.82. So all of this information is what all of this information is what we are going to use to determine the better factor of what we are looking for. So let's bring out all the Excuse information me. now. Can, what, can, hello? Excuse me. Uh, okay. How about the place that they said uh, the fruit has a 0 0.8? The equity data for the fruit is 0 0.8. Yes, and 0 0.8, but we are not giving that of cement. You know, the, the listed company is both cement and fruit. Yeah. 
the listed company that they, they do with what cement and fruits. So we are only giving the one for fruits, fruits the equity yeah. builder for fruits, but we are not giving cement. So we want to calculate for cement because it is when we now have the equity beta of both that is where we can now say we can identify the proxy beta of the listed company or of the proxy company. Do you understand? So because okay, we so, don't have that, so that is what we want to calculate. Okay, so um, this um, 0 0.8, it will not affect anything in this 1.82. Yes, that it affects. So, but how, we want to now split it. We want to now split it. So how to split it is not... Okay, because they gave you the equity better of, of the company as a whole, just remove this one, remove this fruit from the whole. The balance should be the cement. That's the normal logic. But that's not the way it works. There is the formula that you must use to separate both of them. And that is what we want to do. So in your exam, when you see questions like this, please don't just say, okay, because in this place now you are giving the equity better of the company and the company produces fruits and drink and cement. And you are already giving the equity better of the cement of the fruit um, division. So definitely, let me just remove the equity beta of the fruits division from the equity beta of the, of the company as a whole. The balance should be what? The equity beta of the cement company. Because on a normal sense, in a rational view, it is the combination of the equity beta of both the cement and fruits that should give us the equity beta of the main company. Is that not so? Yeah. But, but that is not the way it is. That's not the way it's being solved. There is a formula you must use. If you do it like that with what I just explained, you will miss it. So you must pass through the process. It has its own formula. Am I communicating? Yeah. So let's look at the formula now. So now we are not giving the one for cement, but we are giving the one for fruits. So let's bring out the parameters that we are going to use. We have the... the Combined equity beta of both cement and fruit, which was we were given in the question as 1.82. That's for the company. We we're giving equity beta of the fruits to be 0 0.8. We we're giving the market value of cement to be 0, 60 percent, market value of fruits to be 40 percent. With this information above, we can now calculate the equity beta of the cement, which is unknown to us. How do we calculate it? This is the formula you have to use. Please write down this formula. Write down this formula, please. Write down this formula. That's cement equity beta, or you call it equity beta of the combined activities. Equity beta of the combined activities is equals to beta equity of cement multiplied by the market value of cement divided by the total market value of both cement and fruit, plus open bracket, beta equity of fruits, multiplied by the market value of fruits, divided by the total market value of both cement and fruit. It's very simple. It's very simple. This is the formula you should use. So once you have this formula now, just insert the figure there. The beta equity of the combined company is 1.82. Then you divide it. It's equals to beta equity of cement, which we are looking for, but we don't have, plus market value of cement. We are giving the market value to be 60%, divided by the total market value of fruit and drink. That's 100%, because fruit is 40, cement is 60. When you add it up, total is what, 100, plus... 0 0.8, which is what the beta equity of fruits multiplied by 40 over 100. 40 is the word market value of fruit divided by total market value of both fruit and drink. So once you do that, just break it down into the simplest form. Break it down into the simplest form. When you do 0, 40 divided by 100, you know how you calculate it now? We are calculate this for me. Do 40 divided by 100, your answer multiplied by 0 0.8. What do you have? You have 0 0.32, right? Hello. 
right? Let's be fast, please. So once you do that, is that not what you got? Please, let's be calculating as you are calculating. You know. Are we on the same page? Yes. So you have 0 0.32 for this for this first son, Abi, for this slide. Yes. So you do the same thing for here too. You have 0 0.6 multiplied by this one. You have this one. It's equals to 0 0.8. So you collect like terms. Collect like terms. You bring this one to come and meet this one. You have this. So once you collect like terms, 1.82 minus 0 0.32 is what? 1.5. Yeah. 1.5. 1.5. So divide both sides by 0 0.6. So 1.5 divided by 0 0.6. That is what? 2.5. That is 2.5. So your better equity for cement that we are looking for is what? 2.5. That is what? That is what we are looking for. That is the identification of what? The proxy beta of cement industry. Once you have gotten that, you move on to next step two. Step two, step two says that what? On G, if the equity beta is what? On G, if the equity beta is what? G. -ed. So in this case now, this company is G. -ed. So we are going to what? On G. -ed. So apply the formula for on G -ring for step two. Once you apply the formula, that same formula that you are doing, you are good to go. So just put in the figure, put in the figure of everything. Do you understand? You get step two. Do you get? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. So once you do that, you go to step three to regie. Re once you regear, use the formula for step three and regear. Once you regear, you are good to go. I hope I'm communicating. Look at it very well. Look at it very well. The same formula that we are using. That is what we will still use. So once you do that, you will get your answer for the J. Once you get your answer for the J, calculate your capping. Once you calculate your capping, you calculate your work. Once you calculate your work, you are good to go. Just go and calculate your what net present value using the same method that we have been solving. So what just makes this question different? And this is a pattern I can has been adopting for a very long time now. The free meeting will end in 10 minutes. So this is the pattern I can have been adopting for a very long time. You know, so is just to if it uh, last year okay let me can somebody quickly download can somebody quickly download may 2022 diet let me show you the what i'm telling you can somebody just download may 22 diet and put it in the group chat let's quickly open to the question number one compulsory question you will see that it is this same pattern of question that they were not able to identify the proxy better of the of the proxy company that I can set. And they just combined it with free cash flow and cash flow statements. Free cash flow to equity, free cash flow to firm, and cash flow statement. They combined all of them. Can somebody quickly drop that? Let me show you. 
even the, the previous question that came out on this MPV on project specific cost of capital is still the same nature. Why? Because students find it difficult. And what most students do is that, like what Olainka was explaining, that just take the equity better of the fruits, take it from the total company, you will get the equity better of the main company. That's what most students do. And once they do that, they will fail it. You know, so it's because they were not following the right pattern, right formula. That is why they, they, they usually miss such, you know. So that is just what you need in this question. Once you do that, you are good to go. Once you do that, you are good to go. Okay, somebody has dropped, Mary has dropped the question. Let me now show you. Let me show you what I'm telling you. Question number one. Quickly, question number one on, on it. You will see what I'm saying now. Let me open it from here. Let me open it from here. Can you see it? Can you all see my screen? Yes. So let's go to yes. Let's go to where is that? SFM. Let me quickly show you. Look at it. Question number one, composite question. Look at this, same question. Now look at this statement. Now this one, they say it's on a software company. Software company, blah, 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 financial position. During the year, they gave them, they gave them all of this and all of that. So now look at it. Can you see here, for estimating the appropriate required, it is decided to make use of the capping model. The challenge, however, is that since the company is not quoted, the appropriate beta factor does not exist. You have found a listed company, Computer Limited, that is into software development. Computer is Computer Limited is also into is also into software development. But it, it has the following financial analysis. Can you see this now? Can you see what we just solved now? Yes. This same question. This same thing, they are, you must do it before you can solve for free cash flow. Because look at the question they gave them. They gave them a question on free cash flow. And then they gave them a question on cash flow statements. Then they now give them a question on project-specific cost of capital. Three topics into one. Now, how do you solve this now? If you don't know the process, you would miss it. If you don't know the process, you would miss it. You know, so everything that we have, look at MPV, all those MPV, um, all those MPV um, items, they are all here too. But this is in another form. You will still calculate those incremental, but now it is in, in a form of what? Free cash flow. So the pattern at which you are going to use to solve this question is the pattern of free cash flow. You know the pattern of free cash flow? You start from your net profit, net profit before tax. Then you calculate your tax. Then you calculate your, uh, what's it called now? Changes in working capital and all of that. All of those things, that's what you are giving here. But now, it's not straightforward like that. It's now as you have to do for a year. I think this question, they gave them to calculate for three years. You have to calculate this thing for three years. And in that three years, there is what? Increments. There are some increments that you must take into consideration. But what am I trying to point out here? This same analysis, 
this same analysis of project-specific cost of capital that we just solved now, using that formula to identify the better factor of the listed company. You must do it here before you will calculate the project-specific cost of capital. So once you calculate the project-specific cost of capital, that is now the new cost of capital that you are going to use to appraise your free cash flow. Don't forget, when, we, when I taught you free cash flow, I taught, I taught you free cash flow to future years and then free cash flow to perpetuity. Do you remember that as this formula? Do you remember? Yes. So that free, ca that free cash flow to perpetuity, you know there is a cost of capital there. That cost of capital that you will use is the project-specific cost of capital that you have calculated here. That is why it is needed you calculate the project specific cost of capital first before you can get your full marks under free cash flow. Because if you go and you use the existing uh, cost of capital that you are giving in the question, I'm not even sure you are giving cost of capital in this question. You are not giving cost of capital. So you must calculate your cost of capital. And the way you will calculate your cost of capital is through that project specific cost of capital. That is what you are going to use to appraise your free cash flow to equity. Because without it, you cannot calculate your free cash flow. Look at the requirements. The requirement says that what? Provide an estimate of the appropriate rate of return to be used for the valuation of VT. So they weren't given any rate of return. You must calculate for what? Free cash flow using that step, step one to five. So once you have now done that, you will now calculate prepare a three-year cash flow forecast of the business on the basis described above using the word free cash flow to equity in each year, 14 marks. So once, after you have now done that, you will now estimate the value of the business using the free cash flow to equity and a terminal value based on a sustainable growth rate of 4% per annum thereafter. Remember I told you how to calculate free cash flow to perpetuity. That is where this step C will come in. So once you do that, once you do that, you will now advise on the what, the assumption and the uncertainty of your valuation method. Can you see three things joined together? Project specific cost of capital, free cash flow, free cash flow and wealth, free cash flow to equity, and then your cash flow statements. You will join it together. But the pattern at which you will follow is the pattern of free cash flow. You know the way free cash flow is? It's similar to cash flow statements, but it's different a little. You know, so net, present, uh, net profit before tax, you calculate your tax, calculate your changes in equity, calculate for capital expenditure, and all of that, all of that. So just look at, these are ways you see questions that I can use to mostly set on this pattern. Am I communicating? Yes. So that's basically that's basically that for that question. You are good to go. You, there shouldn't be any issue. Just follow the method and the answer. There shouldn't be any issue.